Welcome to today's piano tutorial of Away in a Manger in the Key of C. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you'd like personal one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, you can now go to my website and apply or check out my simplified piano course to learn the easiest and most effective way to play your favorite songs on piano in any key with chords. Now we're gonna start by learning three basic chords, which I'll be playing below middle C, starting with F major, which consists of the three notes, F, A, and C, F major, followed up one more position for G major, which consists of G, B, and D, G major. So again, that's F major and G major. And the last chord we'll take a look at is C major, which consists of C, E, and G. But if you guys know me, instead of having that G on the top, we're gonna move it down to the bottom. This becomes C major in second inversion and is right next to our other chords, so there's no need to be making any big jumps. Notice how from C major to G major, the thumb stays exactly the same. C major, G major. C major, G major. And vice versa. G major, C major. G major, thumb stays the same. C major. All right, moving on to our left hand, which will place an F position for the entire song, which means our pinky will rest on F and our thumb on C. So hands together, each of those chords will look like F major, G major, and C major. All right, now let's take a look at our chord progression for verse one, which is exactly the same for all the other verses starting with C major for two counts, then F major for one count, then C major for one count, then G major for two counts, and then F major and C major again for one count. Then line three is exactly the same as our first line with C, C, F, C, and our last line is G major, C major, and F major for only one count, then G major for one faster count, and then end with C major for either two counts or four counts, however you like. What I like to do for that last C major chord is play it for four counts and add a sus4 to it on the second and fourth count. So what that simply means is that I'll be adding an F with my pinky, which in the key of C is the fourth. One, two, three, four. So that'll look like C major, C sus4. Again, C major, moving the pinky up, C sus4. This adds a lot of texture to the sound and gives a little breathing room in between the verses since I'm sustaining that C major chord, but is totally optional, so if you don't want to add it, just stick with playing C major without adding that F. Now let's play that with just our right hand from the beginning of the verse with C major. Ready? C. C, F, C, G, G, F, C, 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 F, C, G, C, F, G, C. Great, now let's try that hands together and for rhythm what we'll do is play both hands together on the first beat of each chord and you can also alternate between the right and the left hand for some added momentum and if you'd like to hear what that sounds like, make sure to check out the video in the description box below for part two of the play along video so you can hear how that sounds and feel free to play along with me. Now let's try that hands together from the beginning of verse one with our C major chord and add the C sus4, which is optional at the end. Ready? 
C C F C G G F C C C F C G C F G C C sus 4 C C sus 4 And that's it guys, if you'd like to hear those chords with vocals, click the video in the description box below for part 2 of this video and feel free to play along with me. And that's it guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below with what your favorite worship song is that you'd like to see me do next. Love you guys and see you next time.